Hi folks again, I want to review uh, on stretches, okay, toward the end of the program. Remember on stretches, you never want to stretch cold muscles, you want to warm up first. You might have mentioned this before, or I know I have many times before. Um, never start off with cold muscle stretching, otherwise you may pull a muscle or injure yourself. So once again, you warm up with either a simple walk outside or what I previously described, warm up uh, exercises, then you can stretch. And the simple one is those fingers together. This is, again, chest, shoulders, and hands. Get that forward stretch out there. Hold for about four seconds, bring it back in. You can do this with a cord also. Stretch, classic chest press, four times, four second hold. Feet together, do this classic shoulder press, stretch up there, hold. Keep your hands close to your face, go straight up. Okay, arms out there, out to the sides. Just like this, cross your arms over. Interlace your hands overhead. You can do this seated down to the sides, pull back behind the chair if you're seated, tap your fingers together. So you can do that seated. So again, this is so good for chest, shoulders, and back. Out to the sides, down behind the back, tap your fingers together, put a tug right there at the chest, up and overhead. Just like good over, overall upper and lower body stretch. All right, let's get that left arm up there, right arm to the side again. Similar to what we did before, except we're going to go a little further to the right and hold. Right arm is straight up there. Lean left and hold. And do that four to six times each way. Okay, we'll do one more stretch. Let's lean back. Again, this is our classic ADL, Activity of Daily Living Stretch. Very important to keep your body flexible during the day. Your body kind of tightens up or cramps up when your body's just achy or sore. You're going to interlace those fingers, hands overhead. Lean forward slightly, and you simply lean left to right. Again, this will work the muscles in your ribcage, make you more flexible, make your body supple, and more flexible. It takes the aches and pains out of your body. It's best to be working outside when your body's tight, as they say, or cramping up. This will help. I would do this for about a full minute. Nice left to right. You want to kick this up a bit, just hold it inside for two to four. Once again, you want to maintain a forward lean as you move forward. I'm sorry, forward lean as you lean to the sides. Sorry, hold that for two to four. So again, a forward lean as you lean to the sides. All right. And one more stretch. Let's move back against the chair. Head down and relax. Let's get our hands behind the head once again. Just going to lean back. Maybe for almost a crunch. Just like that. Just a little step. Center core. Back to you. Okay. Thank you again, folks. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and taking good care of yourselves. I'm going to be doing a modified short version of my standard one hour program that you can easily do at home until we get back to normal here and pick up when classes resume. Hopefully that won't be too long. Um, so you can make this program as long as you like by either adding more sets or repetitions or any exercises you've learned during my class, perhaps some of your favorites that you've learned over the last few months or years. Also, if you have a copy of my take home program, my exercise at home program, Dust it off, refer to that once again, perhaps some of your favorite exercises. So you can make this as long or as short as you want. Once again, any more reps or sets or any exercises. If you have any questions, of course, call me, 508-398-2091, or my email is jgardino3 at yahoo.com. All right, so again, as much as you need to, as little as you need to, uh, just modify, call me, contact me if you have any questions. Uh, before we begin, I want to just go over the standard precautions of any exercise program, that's mine included. Of course, you want permission from your doctor to perform an exercise program, especially if you're under the care of a cardiologist, all right? Number one, respiration, very important. You know, I preach a lot about diaphragmatic or personal breathing. Inhale through your nose, blow out through your mouth, okay? Especially any forward leaning motions when you do the hip hinge or the body circle, you want to make sure you're breathing as you lean forward. Especially if you're holding position for a few seconds, you count out loud. One, two, three, four, etc. to ensure you're breathing properly. Next, you should never experience any pain, cramping, nausea, lightheadedness, dizziness, any shortness of breath or gasping for breath. It means something is wrong, okay? Uh, you should stop exercising immediately. You're working too hard if you're gasping for breath or if you have a uh, lung uh, condition, uh, breathing difficulty anyway, you want to be very careful. All right, so always be 
cautious of your body and uh, modify as you need to. There's something called the talk test. If you have trouble talking when you're exercising, you're, um, you're working too hard. You've got to slow it down or stop it. And I don't recommend you, you exercise if you're not feeling too well. All right? So just good old basic common sense. All right? Any other questions, once again, you can call me or email me. Let's get started now. So you have your, um, your bowl ready, your weights ready, and your cord. And we'll give you a couple minutes to get that ready or a couple seconds. Again, you can make this as long or as short as you want, all right? So again, you want to practice that good breathing to begin with. Let's take good deep breaths in and out. Through your nose, out through your mouth. Just get those lungs filled. We'll do a warm up. Okay, a warm up, you can do it anyway, any way you like. If the weather permits, get out there and walk. Simple, single best thing to do is walk, all right? Especially the beach today may not be such a bad idea. All right, so let's do some nice, good deep breathing to begin with. And we'll do some basic warm-ups. Again, walking, high knee march like this we've done many, many times. Uh, some side bends or whatever. But we're going to begin with our ball. Okay, we grab that ball. We do our vocal chop squat. We've done many, many times. The ball is overhead. Now in this squat, remember the squat, the criteria for squatting. Number one, you kick your butt out. So you keep your knees behind the toes, knees in line with your toes. You don't want to squat like this. Knees are straight ahead in line with your toes. And when you squat, you inhale down, exhale up. And when you squat, you also go straight down. Don't shift your weight. You want to squat going straight down and come back up, all right? So let's do our ball chop squat. The ball is overhead. Give it a good squeeze for your hip. Then go into a slight squat, swing the ball forward, Track it with your eyes toward the floor. Hold it for a second or two. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, you want to bring the ball down like this. We're going to do a squat. I would suggest on this one maybe do 8 to 10. If you want to do a second set of 8 to 10, fine. That's great. Upper and lower body works the core. It's a good cardio. We'll keep the ball. Once again, do this ball chop squat slowly and do as many as you want. Let's get that ball straight ahead and do our twisties here to stabilize the core. Okay, we want to track that ball left to right, right to left. This is for eye coordination. Okay, we balance here as well as eye hand coordination and your core. All right. Let's do a couple more of those. We put the ball down. Some more warm ups are simple. Once again, a high knee march, get those knees up there, pump those arms up and down, tighten that core. Again, as we work through the program, you want to keep those core muscles tight. Belly button toward the spine. Squeeze those glutes and activate that pelvic floor. You want to keep that Kegel. Bring that pelvic floor up and squeeze those glutes, okay? Let's get those arms out there. We'll do a knee touch. We'll start some stretches. Remember on the stretches, never stretch your, a cold body. You want to warm up first before you stretch. Otherwise, you get some cramping or you can pull a muscle ligament if you, if you stretch cold muscles. So once we've done our warm up, we'll be doing high knee march, the ball chop squat, simple walking outside. There's plenty of stuff in my program where I can advise you over the phone, too. Let's get those arms out there, and we'll do our knee touch. Nice wide stance. Tuck in that core. Squeeze those glutes. Then track that right hand down towards your left knee. Tap and hold. Come back up. Obviously, we go left to right. Right to left. Again, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Once again, smelling the rose, blowing out a candle on the breeze. So again, we'll put that, that tap. And we go into other with our modified Tai Chi squat. Stretch, left arm out there, right hand on your right hip. So one we've done many, many times. Track that left hand down towards your right knee, a slight squat, tap and hold for about four seconds, come back up, lift your right heel, track your hand to the left. Do that about four times. Of course, switch to the right arm about four times. So it's down and tap, hold for four, back up, hold for four, four to six, Right arm the same way, coming slowly down, tracking that hand down towards your knee, and come back up. Right? So again, I suggest four to six times, and only for a few seconds at the least. And when you tap like this, you're going to feel a squeeze in your cheeks with those glutes. So important. All right, that's our, our tap. Let's get our arms at the side. We're going to bring our hands overhead. Do a chip, simple overhead, out to the sides. Lean back, hands forward, overhead, good for the shoulders and back. Forward. Do this for about 20 seconds. Then you want to kick in behind the back like this. Interlace those fingers, pull your arms up as high as you can. Get a good stretch. Try not to lean forward. You want to get your back straight. So those arms are going to come up like this. Hold for a few seconds and then back down. 
Yeah, we'll do that about six times, okay? It's going to be nice and wide apart. And again, we'll just do some simple side bending here, side lunge, hands on the thighs, and just go left to right. Nice and slow, just got a good side lunge, side bend going, left, right, right through here, back here. So a few of those left to right, right to left, right? And a few more of those. We're going to go right into our balance work. Let's we'll grab that chair. Careful on the balance work. Once again, a good sturdy chair, an armless, strong chair. Let's get that weight, that chair on our left side. Okay, we'll start with the basics. Okay, the chair's at your left. You want to have your hand here in case you start to fall, you can grab that chair. So we have our classic one leg up. This is also hip flexion. You're doing your hip as well as your balance. That leg is up for 10 to 20 seconds. And you bring it down, you're going to tap that toe here. Bring it back up, do it again, 10 to 20 seconds. You do this as often as you like. This you can do, you should do every day. The balance work should be every day to really enhance your balance. So do that about three to four times, 10 to 20 second hold. Then you bring your leg back, of course. Upper leg is straight toward the floor. Heel is towards your butt. This is also knee flexion as well as balance. And you'll feel this in the quadriceps, the top of your leg. So again, we're up two to four times, hold it for 10 to 20 seconds. Back four times, two to four times, hold back for 10 to 20 seconds. Of course, you do the left side, same thing. Chair at your right. Once again, you should have the back of the chair at your side. Have your hand right there. And remember, I've mentioned many, many times, minimal hold in that chair. Think of ring with your index finger and thumb in the back of the chair, right like that. And bring your left leg up and hold it once again. Four to eight seconds, 10 to 20 seconds, whatever is comfortable for you. The longer, the better. And try to do that three to four times, all right? Then we'll do our weight shift, our simple weight shift. It's like this. We'll start off very gradually. One of the simplest ways to work your balance, shifting your weight from left to right right to left. Look for gradually off the floor a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Shifting your weight from left to right, right to left. All right. So do that for about 30 seconds. If you want to kick this up, of course you can do it. <laughs> that chair in front, and we hold that left leg out there for about four to six. Drop that left foot, right leg is out there, hold on to that chair with your fingertips. And very important, when that left leg goes out to the side and lines up with your right leg, keep your foot pointed straight ahead. Try not to lean. So again, we're going to put that left foot flat on the floor. Right leg is out there. Hold it for about 10 seconds, maybe six, four, whatever's comfortable for you. Try not to lean. Once again, the other leg goes out to the side. You hold that for four, six, maybe 10 seconds. All right. Let's get the chair back on our left side. And we'll do our heel to toe, our classic heel to toe stance. Okay. So put your left foot in front of your right. You're tapping your right toes with your left heel. Remember, folks, on this one here, you look straight ahead, do not look at your feet. That's part of the exercise, is focusing straight ahead and maintain that heel to toe stance. Hands on your hips or hold on to that chair. And you wanna lean back slightly on that right leg. You wanna feel the stretch of your right hamstrings. Again, this is a classic heel to toe stance. And this, 20 to 30 seconds, and you make a switch, you step forward with your right, tap your left toes with your right heel. In line stance, you're gonna slightly lean back, Focus straight ahead, always find that focal point. Keep that back straight, arch your lower back and lean back just a bit. Now if you want to kick this up here at home, you do a heel to toe walk. Heel to toe walk going forward, going down a hallway with two walls to support you. Heel to toe walk, even better, toe to heel going backwards. Okay, you want to keep it in line with your feet, okay? So heel to toe walk, it's really good for your balance. So then we've done, we've done our, our weight shift, our one leg stuff, and we'll do our hip extension. Okay, the chair's in front. This is so good for your lower back, your glutes, and also for balance. What we've done many, many times. Fingertips are on the chair, and you want to bring that right leg straight back and the side to again. So again, that right leg is up. Hold for a few seconds. Bring it forward. Very important, folks, when the right leg goes forward, it stops when it lines up with your left leg. You don't want to do this, you'll fall backwards. So again, the chair is right in front. Fingertips on the back of the chair. Right leg up and hold, bring it forward. This one here, about four to six second hold, and I would do this about six to eight times, of course, do both sides, all right? So the hip extension, leg going back. Let's get the chair out of the way. We'll do our twisties. Get those arms out here. Once again, feet are nice and wide apart. This is so good to stabilize your core all through here. So again, put those arms out there. 
Lift your right heel, pivot left. Lift that right heel as far back as you can. All right, and hold it for a few seconds. Drop that right heel, lift your left heel. And you want to shrug your shoulders at the same time. Going back, and hold for two to four. If you can't go that far back, that is okay. You're going to lift that heel. Pivot on the opposite foot. You're going to the left. Pivot here on your right foot. Heel will drop to the floor and vice versa. And you want to track that right hand going to the right and track your left hand going to the left. All right? And that's so good for your core. All right, we'll do some more upper body. Let's get our feet together and get that right arm going forward. Right shoulder back and chest up. Going forward like this. As your palm is down, rotating that shoulder, coming toward the point up. Forward, down, back, up, forward, down, back. Left arm side goes up, forward, down, back. Nice rotation of the shoulder and upper back. Now we do both arms at the same time. Forward, palms are forward, down, straight up, rotate forward. You're shrugging those shoulders too. As the arms come back like this, you want to shrug those shoulders, then go forward, drop down, come back. Now we'll do both circles here. Forward, rotate, rotate. Reverse direction. Now go back to the arms on the side and do both at the same time. And this is just a good upper body once again. Upper back, shoulders, push the chest. Okay, now we go back to the circle. We're going to widen our stance and go into a squat. So our feet are about shoulder width apart. Get that circle going. And watch the squat, watch those knees, come right back up. Do six to eight of these. Squat as you rotate your arms here. Again, inhaling down, exhaling up. If you want to hold this for a couple of seconds, fine. But again, the most critical thing is watch your knees when you do that squat, all right? So that's again about four to six seconds, eight seconds perhaps, whatever to hold. All right. Let's get our feet together and hands and hips, and we'll do our body circle once again for hula hoop. Again, feet together, hands on your hips. You lean forward, arch your lower back, and you rotate to the right. You lean back, it's one of my favorites. Rotating left, forward. So again, it's working your core. When you go back, you feel it here. And as you go forward, it's the lower back and your hips. Do this real slow. Again, you're rotating at the hip here. You should feel it. That's why your hands are on your hips. You can feel that rotation in your hip. All right, and it goes other way, of course. And on this one here, uh, 20 seconds or so, maybe 30, or do it twice if you would like to. Got an easy way to work your center core and then lower back and your hips. All right, so let's do a couple more of those. Good. Let's grab our core here. All right, and we'll do our good old ball and elbow. Let's do a bow and elbow. Once again, we're bowing our back and shoulders. Let's get that left foot flat on the floor, right heel up, you're doing a slight squat here, aim that left hand, again, keep that core tight and taut, don't let it go slack, you aim that left hand and you pull back, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, I would do eight of these, again, you don't want to do this, and you don't want to let the core go slack, so keep that core nice and tight, do it back and forth, six to eight reps, do the right side, again, you want to plant that right foot, slight squat, left heel is up, you pull it back and forth, okay? Just like that. Let's put the ball off behind our back, all right? So our lean in reach, nice wide stance here. Again, your hands are in front of your shoulders, and you lean forward and reach for it. Look for the core and your chest. This one here, perhaps six to eight times. Hold for a couple of seconds. Please keep your head up, don't hold your breath. And again, six to eight times, we'll do that twice, okay? Two sets on that one there, and we can put that core down. Again, hydration, let's keep that core going. Not just when you're exercising, folks, during the day, keep yourself hydrated. Let's grab one lightweight that we're going to do our shoulder. So again, on the shoulders, always have lightweights. This is one of my favorites too, our diagonal shoulder raise. Nice wide stance, your right hand faces your left hip. You come across, lift that left heel, pivot, palm is forward. Come right back down. So again, you're rotating your shoulder. You're focused at your wrist. So that left hand comes in towards your left, your right hand to your left hip. You come across, lift that left heel, right side, 
And this one here, about six to eight times, of course, you switch to the left arm. So your left palm faces your right hip. Across, track that weight to your right. Hip starts your left. Lift that right heel. Palm is forward. Bring the right back in. Let's grab another weight. Now we're gonna do our arms, so grab heavier weights if you have them. Once again, a reminder on the weights. When you're doing your shoulders, lighter weights, when you're working your upper arms, heavier weights. So we'll do our classic 4-2-4 tempo for the upper arms. It's better with your feet together, back straight, arch that lower back. Get those arms straight out there. Again, you wanna keep your palms in line with your shoulders. Your forearms are straight ahead. One, two, three, Four. Hold for two. One, two, three, four. Our classic four, two, four tempo. Exhale up. I got about a four count up, two count hold, four count down. So why don't you do that on the knees? Careful on the reps here. You want to do four, two, four. The tempo is important. I would suggest eight to ten reps. Rest for a couple of minutes. Do a second set. One, two, three, four. Hold for two. One, two, three, four down, do a little second set, eight to 10 reps. Now, as you do this, you want to increase the weight. I mentioned this many times. You eventually want to pick up the weight, a little bit more weight, but again, the tempo is critical. You don't want to go too fast or too slow. And keep those muscles under tension. So we got that one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four down, hold it for two, right? And then rest in between, maybe one or two minutes and do a second set. Let's keep those weights, I'm sorry. Feet together. Let's bend over as far as you can. Your head is up, weights at the side. And we'll do a bent over row for the upper back. The hands face in toward the sides of your legs and lower those weights up again. So again, on that bicycle, what we just did, you want to keep your palms up. We'll do a 424. If you want to go slower, it's 606. This one here is a 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's so good for your upper back, remember. Keep your hands in, elbows are pointed back. You don't want to do this, bring the weight together. Okay, now we'll each stay forward here and we'll do our laterals for the shoulders, like this. About a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do that eight times. Forward, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, eight times. Now let's keep those two weights. Get a nice wide stance here. And our side. We're going to make it a little more of a challenge, feet together. Left foot. Nice good side bend. Work those obliques. Stabilize your core. Let's put the left weight down. We'll work that good old tricep muscle. Again, I have other exercises for the tricep. This one here, you have that weight here. You want to bring it back toward your shoulder. Support your right arm with your left hand. So we're doing this motion here. Okay? Line it up here, back up. So you want to support your right arm with your left hand to work this muscle here in the tricep. This once again, eight to 10 reps, do the left arm eight to 10, but I would do just one set of each on this one, okay? Let's put that eight. Hydrate. Let's get those feet nice and wide apart, just some cardio, okay? Gonna get our feet nice and wide apart. We'll do our jab, okay? Forward. Nice wide stance. Again, this is cardio and working on the upper body. Jab, 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 jab. Or punch, 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 punch. You want a slight twist at the waist. Punch forward, punch forward, punch forward, punch forward. Now we'll do a twisty. Punch, twist and 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 punch. Like this, okay? Works all around here. Great for cardio. Go a couple more times. This one here, I would do one set of each, eight to 10 reps on this one here, punching forward. Let's get a few nice and wide apart, hands on your hips. We'll do our good old hip hinge forward. Hold for four, again, you count one, two, three, four, back up, forward, right about here, works your lower back, your glutes, and your hamstrings. Hold that stretch, back up. One, two, three, four. Want to pick this up a bit, feet together. Hold it. One, two, three, four. And so again on this one here, eight to ten pounds. Far right. Let's have a seat. We'll do some seated cardio. 
So you want to grab that chair and have a seat. Again, you don't have to follow the sweet sequence I'm doing. You can modify it, change it the way you like to. And again, make the program as long or as short as you want to. On this seated cardio, I'm going to move toward the front of the chair. We'll start with our jumping jacks. Get on the jumping jacks. Okay, we'll go slow to start. We'll do about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jogging. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. Okay, so that was our jump rope. Now we'll do the jog, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we do it again, okay? Jumping jacks on the quick side for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then the jump rope again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. Then if you want to add in the uh, the other the last one here where we do our jogging again 10, 9, 8, 10, 10 seconds. Let's move back and relax. Head back to on the chair. Let's put our head down and relax. Let's do some side bends here, seated side bends at the waist here. And then we'll do our this is gonna be a side bend at the hip. This is a seated. Weight shift again, not, not bending at the waist, at the hip here, at the hip. Nice and slow. Okay. Let's do our core. Let's move forward. Okay, we want to get those feet up here. Again, let's do our classic crunch, hands behind the head. Remember, if this bothers your lower back, skip this exercise. The classic way to work your core, but be careful of your lower back. Interlace those fingers. Hands behind your head and we exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. And this one here, 30 seconds, is very critical. Exhale down, inhale up. And remember, contract all those pelvic floor, the pelvic floor muscles, the belly button towards your spine, and squeeze those glutes. Arch your lower back. You want to activate all your core muscles. So again, the pelvic floor, the belly button in, squeeze those glutes. And arch your lower back. All right. Yeah, let's move back mid chair. Okay. Hold on to the sides of the chair. But we started about two weeks ago or so. Left leg up, right leg up, both legs up. Left, right, both. Etc. We want to keep this up a bit, folks. Let go of the chair, bring both legs up. It's hard not to lean back. You want to really feel it deep inside here and those quads. So these abdominals. We do slowly, good deep breathing in and out, and do eight to 10 reps, okay? Let's get back, we'll do our lean and reach. Get those arms up there, gonna lean forward and back. Now we're gonna lean and reach with your arms, or use the core, lean and reach. Lean and reach, back, lean and reach, okay? Get our hands behind our head, again, lean forward and back. Let's move forward. All right. So we get our hands behind our head once again. We want to go left to right just for a few. Again, I have a lot of my program or call me. I have additional abdominal stuff. There's so many we could do. If you want to, you can do them on the floor. Let's scoot back this chair once again. Get that left arm up there, right arm toward the floor. This one, our classic to the side here. Hold for about four seconds. Okay. Six times again. You want to lean right, lean back as you lean to the side. You want to straighten your back and lean back as you lean to the side. So six to eight times. Of course, do the left side. Right arm is straight up there, and to the side. Keep that right arm pulled back, left arm straight toward the floor. Center your body. Lean back as you lean to the side. Okay. Let's do some more for the core. Let's move forward. Again, interlace those fingers and work those obliques as well as the center. Interlace those fingers, lean forward, right elbow, left knee, left elbow toward the right. You don't have to touch your knee, of course. It's the twist going down you want to concentrate on. So lean and twist, lean and twist. Exhale, down, inhale up. Let's grab that core, do a couple more for the core. Behind your back, another lean and reach here with the core. Also going to work your chest. So move forward. 
Hands in front of your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Okay, exhale, lean forward. Hold this for two to four seconds. Now, as you're back toward the chair, you keep your back off the chair. One of the hardest ones here is you want to hold your back off the chair. Forward and hold, two to four seconds. Back toward the chair, and you keep your back from touching the chair. You want to maintain tension on that core. You're applying resistance against your muscles in the core. All right, this one here, eight to 10 reps. I would suggest the second set, eight to 10. Again, keep those muscles tightened up, that belly button toward the spine, that pelvic floor, and those squeeze those glutes. All right, let's grab some weights. Just a review that what I did before for the tricep and pin. You want your arm like this and support your right elbow with your left hand. The weight goes toward your shoulder. You want to clear your head, of course, if you go straight up. Now, this is the wrist curl. One of them done many, many times. Get your feet at a harm's way. Put your feet behind the legs of the chair. In case you drop your weight. Palms are up, your arms are on top of your legs. Then we twist, palms up, palms down. Palms up, palms down. Okay, now we work your forearm. And again, our classic palms are up, bring your hands down towards your knees. And on knees, eight to 10 reps, do just one set of each. And the palms toward the floor. This is working your forearm for bone density and muscle strength. Okay, so hands are down toward the floor. Okay, and then we do a V, palms up, then in and out of the V shape, and work your wrist for grip and strength. Okay, you can put those weights down. Okay. Let's do some seated stretches. Okay, one of my favorites, those arms up there. Okay, pull back. This is so good for chest, your back, and your shoulders. So bringing those hands back behind your back, tap behind your back. Again, as you come up to the side, pull back, engage those upper back muscles and shoulders. Tap your hands together. Again, pull back as you come down. And this one here, eight to 10 times. You wanna pull back, feel that stretch there. And as you tap your hands together, it's gonna to work your chest. All right, chest, chest, back and shoulders. Let's scoot forward again. Hip abduction. You can use this with your hands, remember, your wrist, your, I'm sorry, your elbows or the core. Let's go midway, we'll use our elbows. Again, heels are off the floor, elbows inside here, and you press your legs open, get some uh, resistance against the legs from the arms and against the arm that's in the legs. So again, it's resistance out, resistance in. Keep your heels off the floor. Again, you're pressing your legs open with your arms and your arms in with your legs. And that one maybe eight to 10 times at the most, okay? Let's scoot back. Chin down. Work our neck a bit here. Again, on this one here, if you ever put your head back, or this is for the back of your neck, your head comes up, head comes down, head up, and left and right. Classic head sway. And head tilt. Remember on this head tilt, very, very important, folks. You're not leaning your head to the right like this. It's like this. You don't want to lean your body. You're just tilting your head to the right. Left, right. Okay, let's get back on our feet, do a few more standing exercises. Grab that wall again. Okay, the wall chop squat again, but going to the side. So again, the ball's above your right shoulder. You can do this in the beginning or toward the end of the uh, session. Above your shoulder, squat, tap your left knee up to your right shoulder, across to your left shoulder, right knee. Hold the exhale, left shoulder, right shoulder, left knee, right shoulder, etc. You're going across your body. Again, you're for this the back here, the back side here, back, shoulders. It's a good warm up. It's also good halfway through or toward the end of the program. So going X way, right knee, left shoulder, right shoulder, left knee, etc. Okay, let's put that ball down. Okay. Let's grab two weights again. Again, this is not a specific, specific order. You can modify this changing order of the exercises. Let's get our feet together once again. Weights at the side. We'll do a set of hammers. Weights are at the side, palms face in. Forward, up, in. Forward, down, side. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Okay, again, for eight to 10 reps, just keep those weights. Forward again, we'll do some twisties with the weights. This is a new one. It's 
we have to write two together once again. Let's put those right there, okay? We'll grab that forward one more time. Okay, we'll do one four back. This is very easy. On this one here, we've done before. Take the cord, take the slack out of the cord, just light tension. You bring it up overhead to the back of your head, right there. So a nice stretch in the upper back and shoulders. Nice, easy way to work tension out of your back and shoulders. So it's going to come up, overhead, to the back of your head. Try to lean forward. And I would suggest that one eight to ten times. Okay. Go back to some balance work. All right, so let's get the chair to the left side. So again, we'll do a balance work. So we have that heel to toe stance once again. This is getting harder now, so be careful. Have that chair to your left side. Left in front of the right. And launch that chair to lean forward. Lean back. Lean back. You can do this differently too. You can hold it for a few seconds, do that six to eight times, then go backwards six to eight. So again, the key is the forward, back. So you can do a left to right. Have that chair there. Left to right bend, maintaining heel to toe. And then twist it. This is harder yet. This is more challenging. Be careful with that heel to toe as you twist left and twist right. Okay. Of course, you do the other side. You want to stop, slow the switch, put your right in front of your left, lean back, and do the same thing. Go forward, back. Okay. This is a more challenging way to work your balance. Heel to toe stance, forward, back. I mentioned before the heel to toe in itself is a challenge for your balance, but by moving your body and going forward, back is harder. Left to right. Left to right, just like that. Our twisties, left to right, maintaining heel to toe. Okay. Now we'll have the chair to the left. Our yoga style, right foot on top of the left knee. Get that leg straight across and hold that for 10 to 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds even. Have that chair there. Let's do the same thing on the left foot on top of the right knee. And then get straight across. Hold that. Chairs on the side here. All right, hold that for a few seconds. 10 to 20, that 20, sorry. Four to 10, eight, in that range there. You know, lock clock if you need to. At least four seconds of these stretches. Just put our foot down, feet wide apart now. Hands on the hips. Let's do some more side bends, okay? Get that knee forward, knee forward, knee forward. And we'll do some side kicks. Again, this is so good for hip abduction, strengthens your knee and your pelvic floor, works your glutes. Chair at your left. Feet are lined up with each other. Right leg kick out, hold for four, maybe six, bring it in. Straight out to the side, hold it. I would suggest six to eight times in a four to six second length, okay? Do the same on the other side. Chairs at your right. So make sure, number one, your left leg lines up with your right, right leg. If it goes forward or back, you may fall. So out to the side, hold. Back in, out to the side. So good for your leg and your hip, or especially hip abduction. We'll do that a few times. Eight, six to eight times, about a four second length. All right, let's go ahead and down the Those are good people. Okay. And we're gonna start to slow it down now. Just to, to repeat myself from before, you can modify this as long as you want, and as short as you want, okay? And you can vary it every day, okay? Don't do the same things every day necessarily. And a reminder on the weights, when you're using the weights, Every other day, you want to give your muscles time to relax, to repair themselves, to rest. So when you're doing those, either those curls or the hammers or the shoulder workout or the bent over row, whatever you're using the weight or the cord, you want to do it every other day to give your muscles a chance to rest. The balance, the stretching, the core work, you should do every day, especially if you're really keen on getting your balance better, do the balance work every day, all right? Once again, if you have any questions, 508-398-2091 or jgonzino3 at yahoo.com. I understand this was a shortened program. Again, if you have any questions, let me know, and you can make this as long or as short as you want. Folks, please take care of yourself. Keep well. Hope to see you soon.